Rima Familia talks about family in the biological sense of the term, as well as in the human relationship definition. The figures are all my family, in some aspect. And in some ways they reminded me of the stories, the mythological tales or religious stories that they help depict. The paintings are scenes helping to represent or tell in some way the, the stories or multiple stories that they represent. Take for instance Boosie, Dr. Boosie after St. Lucy. My cousin Boosie was in medical school at the time uh, to become an ophthalmologist. <clears throat> and first off, her name is Boosie. And it rhymes with St. Lucy, who was the patron saint of vision. There's obvious correlation between her being a doctor of vision and St. Lucy being the patron saint of vision. Like other portraits of St. Lucy has her holding a set of eyes. In this painting though, it's held by the optic nerve, depicting a deeper understanding of vision. The medical equipment that surrounds Lucy in this painting becomes a headdress or a halo around Boosie and the chickens are autobiographical in the sense that Boosie's chore growing up on my grandfather's farm was to raise the chickens and help take care of them. She still has a deep love for chickens to this day. St. Lucy had her eyes removed or destroyed and miraculously retained her vision. Dr. Boosie helps people retain and improve her, their vision. Gustav versus David. It's a depiction of the story of David facing Goliath. Goliath has now been supplanted by David, Michelangelo's David, which is the physically a Goliath and in the sense of art history has become Goliath. Gustav is a baby, a toddler, 12 months old at the time. He's holding a golf club, a plastic golf club, instead of a slingshot. But the five stones remain. It's a story of underdog. For an underdog to become a champion or king, as David did, they have to overcome the nerves or utilize them and have a bigger motor than their opponent. Thus the pistons representing the energy that it requires for an underdog to become a champion. And also the strength that they have to have. And not necessarily a, a large package. Say a small one like, like the rhinoceros beetle that's depicted. Ounce for ounce, pound for pound, the strongest creature on the planet, according to a Google search I did in Wikipedia search. It's in the same family as the Atlas and the Elephant Beetle. And again, there's something beautiful and repulsive about it. Also, the story of David. Um, something that you don't really think about because it's something that's grand majestic, but he ends up killing Goliath. It's kind of weird. 
to think of a baby doing that, but there's something about the pose Gustav struck and the gaze he gave that had that same sense of energy as Michelangelo's David. And I see him as a, a worthy challenger to it. I like to utilize mechanical means or elements, especially automotive elements, in the paintings to help tell the stories. There's something beautiful about automotive design, There's something that draws me to it. It's very masculine and it's also very sensual and beautiful. The hardness of the material, the shiny, the smoothness, the textures. There's something very visceral and rich about it. So I help I like to use them as props in the paintings, in the stories to help tell them. Take for instance Athena plus Shiva. <coughs> which is a depiction of Rachel that utilizes headers from an exhaust system as the headdresser or hair of Shiva, which is in the form of the dancer, the Naharaja at that time doing the dance of creation which is also the dance of destruction which I found an interesting parallel to Athena as the goddess of war and good counsel that those two correlate the headlights represent the stars or universes that are created as they dance. The cobra, the serpent cobra, which is depicted on the Shelby Cobras, it's a Ford Mustang that the headlights come from and that the front of the grill shows that becomes a gate for the two Mustangs, for the two horses that she holds. One is Pegasus and also the rhythm of life that beats that's held by the Naharaja and the other is destruction flame Medusa was cursed by Athena after she desecrated her temple and was had the snakes coming out of his hair, serpents that coming out of his hair, which is also echoed in in the headdress um, and uh, on the shield, on the shoulder pads that Rachel wears, there's a, there's a shield that says on, on their Medusa and also has uh, the serpent representing the snakes that come out of out of Medusa's head and it also says on there Medusa and uh, to represent that. Now the, the snake, the cobra on the grill represents the life force that flows through everything which is depicted in most sculptures of the Naharaja. The Nike symbol was utilized as a representation of the goddess Victory which Athena usually had with her.